Hi, I'm Ron Lawson from Dirt Bike Magazine, and today we're going to ride the 2023 Beta 300 RR Race Edition. A few short years ago, this bike was typical of the breed. A 300cc two-stroke with a carburetor, a case reed, and a mechanical power valve. It was a proven formula that was very hard to beat. Now the landscape in that class has changed so much that the Beta is kind of an outlier. No injectors, no electronic power valve, and no complex three-dimensional maps. It's a very traditional bike, but certainly not old-timey. It has electric start, but there's a place for a Kickstarter if you want one. It has a counterbalancer, two mapping options, and a hydraulically actuated diaphragm clutch. It has evolved, but this is the same recipe that has dominated off-road racing for years. This particular bike is Beta's race edition. It uses premixed lubrication rather than oil injection. The motor has a larger exhaust port, higher compression, and different power valve tuning. It also has KYB suspension front and rear. Then there's a long list of extras, including hand guards, aluminum foot pegs, anodized axle blocks, a front axle grab handle, and more. This year, all the Betas have new radiator shrouds that are a little bit narrower and sleeker. The big deal for us, though, is still the 36 millimeter Kien PWK carburetor. It feeds a motor with a physically adjustable power valve. You use jets to alter the fuel mixture and a hex wrench to adjust the preload on the power valve governor. You don't bring a laptop computer to the track for anything. If you've been riding off-road motorcycles for more than a minute, you know pretty much what to expect from this bike. It's the sweetest motorcycle for the rudest conditions. The power that it produces down low is incredible and perfectly controllable. It can be taken to absurdly low RPM without the fear of stalling. In the middle, the race edition actually produces a little bit more power than the standard version. It has more pull and a noticeably bigger hit in the middle. The top end might be about the same. It isn't a crazy fast motorcycle up there. It certainly runs well, but it isn't going to challenge any 450cc four strokes. When it's done revving, it's done. Best to shift early and move on. We love the fact that you can make tuning changes to the Beta's motor without a degree in computer science, but Beta did a spectacular job with the stock jetting, so there's really nothing to do. The motor runs perfectly clean. No rich spots, no detonation, just clean acceleration. Almost all of our testing was done in the most benign conditions, around 75 degrees, 1,000 feet above sea level, and it worked perfectly. We know from history, though, that the stock jetting has an amazingly wide operating range. It takes about 5,000 feet more altitude before you have to get into the carb. The power valve does give you some tuning options, though. In general, less preload on that power valve spring results in a sharper hit. If you look under the cover, there's a spring within a spring. We know several riders who have removed the inner spring altogether with decent results. If you want less hit, that's easy. The little button in front of the gas cap is the map switch. The setting with the rain cloud emoji detunes the power output noticeably through changes in spark advance. A key difference for this year's race edition is the KYB shock. The closed cartridge KYB fork appeared on this model a few years ago, and that was a significant improvement over the standard Sax fork. Frankly, we didn't expect to see such a dramatic improvement on the rear, but we were surprised. The Beta 300 RR Race Edition has outstanding suspension overall. It does a great job of bridging the gap between trail riding and all-out racing. In rocks and on slow-speed technical trails, the bike is reasonably plush, stable, and predictable. On faster trails and on whoops, 
it's level and stays up in the stroke until you get into those bone-crushing impacts. Even there, it bottoms gently without a clunk or any sharp jolt. Overall, though, we still can't say the Beta is an especially cushy ride. It's a rigid-feeling bike. The seat is hard and thin, the gas tank is wide, and there's a bit of vibration coming through the bars. All those things are relative to other off-road bikes, though. The race edition is exactly what it says it is. It's a racer. It's more Ferrari than Cadillac. That, of course, begs the question. You want a Cadillac, a Ferrari, or a Tesla? Some riders live for the latest technology, and that's not what this is. The race edition is a proven formula with a history of success. We're going to have a full test of the 2023 Beta 300 RR race edition in the August 2023 print edition of Dirt Bike Magazine, which you'll be able to find on the newsstand. You can also check out more good stuff on YouTube, on our website, Instagram, or Facebook. Thanks for watching.